Hey everybody, it's me, Geoslave53 here for another Running Tux. Today's video, what I thought I'd do is I show you something that most people who have Arch Linux, can give a prime example, those who have like Debian or Red Hat or Fedora versions, they, they always have better ways to find out if files are eligible, you know, for upgrades. They'll, they'll look at it and they'll see, okay, this file is... A, you know is available for upgrade can we you know go ahead and just upgrade and no problem but they always notify you and let you know under arch they don't have a primary program that they use to let you know if you if your files are ready to upgrade if they if what if you don't know well most people with arch they just go through the terminal and they'll say okay well sudo Batman space dash s y u and that's it and that's how they find out and they'll check it every day well that's boring <laughs> uh, to me um, there has to be a better way of doing that and a lot of people though the real you know Arch Linux users do it that way and well no there are better ways of doing that one is Octopi that's right. This is their uh, website. It's a GUI interface for installing and removing applications. But they do give you another option, which is the little Pac-Man, you know, ghost guy here on the top that lets you know if you have any um, files that, that can't be upgraded. And up there, as you see, I highlighted right over the little ghost guy says there are five updates available and the way to know is that if it's red you can upgrade your files if it's green you're good to go all your files are up to date you don't have to do this so it'll up it'll let you know hey you have an update red green means it's good uh, when you first boot up or if you uh, boot up uh, or restart your your computer usually it'll go kind of like um, kind of like gray, which is checking to see if it's if there are any updates available. Now, basically, if you do have any updates available, you just right click, click where it says here system upgrade. You click that, and then there's a confirmation, and it tells you, hey, the following five targets are needed to be received. The total amount download is 52 megabytes. And then it lists all the programs that need to be upgraded. Here I got Arch Linux Keyring, Chromium, GD, VLC, and ZSH. So those are the five programs that need to be upgraded. So basically all you do is you click yes. And then Octopi comes up. It starts up. And then you can see on the bottom of Octopi, it also has that little explanation point to let you know, hey, you got updates, and it's also in red. And it tells you there are five of them. And usually you could just click this down arrow key right here, and it will do the same thing. But here, the notification, it just makes it easier so you know. Um, and then you just type in the root password, which I'm going to put in. And there you go. It's going to uh, basically download um install and upgrade and that's it and it'll do it not just only for the official repositories it'll do it for the aur as well so i use the hour to do most of the stuff uh but it'll do both as well and as you can see here it's doing everything for me right there um it doesn't pop up with a uh notify you know a terminal to do everything it does it all right there for you and that's why i like octopi uh, those who have maharo linux big users of octopi um, fans of those uh, when i was using octopi right now i'm using arch straight out uh, but there you go it's finished you see that command finish is okay you're all done you don't see that on the upper corner it's green that means you're good to go it's that easy uh, I think uh, um, Octopi is a great feature. This is uh, another GUI interface that you can install uh, if you want to check for files. It's real simple. Um, 
edit, if you type G edit right there, you can find it right there and, and basically you click, it tells you information about it. You just right click, hit install, and it says, hey, do you have any other dependencies? You know, it's usually optional, it says optional, you don't have to, but you know, some people would or not. So let's say you click, you say yes, hit OK, and then you click the button right here where it says commit and then it installs it. And you could do it vice versa again as well. Um, uh, let me just X out. If you want to uninstall, you just click in here, right click, click remove, does the same thing. So you can do all your installs and in, in removals from this as well. And you can also search through the AUR as well. So if you type, let's type G edit, uh, whoops. Oops. Type too fast right here. Where it says display all groups, it's displaying all the groups in the official repository itself. If you want to look in the AUR, you click where it says Yaourt right here. And it will look in Yaourt and all the other files. As you can see, you got a lot more, a lot more stuff here to go through. And I like that. That to me is really a great feature. This is a GUI interface. You could still do it, you know, the old fashioned way, go through the terminal. That's fine with me. But having a nice GUI interface, Octopi, with Octopi Notifier right here on the upper corner, will give you the ability to check your updates and also do your installs and removals all from one type of program. It should be available uh, in the AUR for Arch uh, and most of the other distros may be available through um, uh, your official deposit re repo. If not, there is the website right here through Octopi uh, project.wordpress.com. Uh, they do have a section uh, where it says get, where you could get the actual um, uh, program where it's a git, where you do it as a, um, through the git project. It's, n it's not that hard. It's pretty easy. I like it. i uh, big fan of it. This is the best way, folks, to um, do your updates, to get your notifications, to install and everything. Give Octopi a try and Octopi Notifier. Uh, it will work for you. Um, I'm a big fan of it, and you'll see how much easier it is. Because through the day, I'll tell you this, all through the day, I'll wake up in the morning, I see, okay, I got five updates. Three hours later, it'll pop up a red again, and it says, oh, you got more updates, and it's like two other files. So it's always telling me, like, it checks every hour, basically. And it's kind of cool to see that. Because most of the day, through um, most Arch users, you don't know until you type it. And this way, it's a better way. Because if something happens in the news, you find out, hey, there's an issue with a file, you know, a program, and they need to update right away. At least here, you'll know right away, oh, there's a update for it. You checked it out. Yeah. It's actually an update you need to do. This is a faster means way of doing it. So hopefully for Arch users, I think this might, this is a really great way. Even those who are not Arch users who have other distros, it'd be very helpful. All right, that's all I have for uh, today. Um, hopefully I'll have some more videos coming through, just like I said in the previous uh, video, and uh, we'll go from there. So that's it for now. Take care, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.